What is going on, my friends? My name is McKinsey, and this is the Flowmingo Show, where we talk about all things web flow. Flow Mingo. All right, so I've been gone for a few weeks while I've been working on some other projects, but it's good to be back. I've been itching to get back at it. All right, so let's kick things off with some time sensitive stuff, and that is Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. So Webflow is doing 50% off all of the templates in the Webflow marketplace until December 4th. All you gotta do is use the code CYBERWEEK2020 to get 50% off. And I just checked out the marketplace and there are some awesome new templates. So definitely go check that out. If you've had your eye on any templates or think you might wanna use one in the future, now's the time to do it. Half off is a great deal. Another one that actually ends very, very soon, Monday, November 30th, is Flux Academy, Rancy Gall's Webflow Masterclass. You can get 40% off his course. I'll put a link to that course if you're interested. You just gotta use code BF, 40-2020 to get 40% off. And then I'm also doing a discount at Flamingo as well. So if you want to join Flamingo, you can get a lifetime membership for $150 off. Just use the code FLOWDAY2020 at checkout. And that deal is good until December 4th. All right, let's move on to some new features inside of Webflow. There's been a few releases since the last Flamingo show. First up, you can now organize your assets inside of folders in the asset panel. It's a small but very, very useful feature. So if you have hundreds of images, you can now categorize them, organize them into folders, however you would like. I'm really glad that they added this. Webflow e-commerce got a little upgrade and they released product variant buttons. So what this means is say you had a t-shirt shop. Before you could only have a drop down of say like small, medium, and large. And those three were your variants. Now you can have variant buttons. So you can do like short sleeve, long sleeve, small, medium, large, color of black, white, um, yellow, whatever you want. And you can customize everything just like you would inside the Webflow designer. So this gives your e-commerce shops so much more flexibility. There's so much more you can do with this. And this is just one step closer with Webflow e-commerce being able to stand its own against things like Shopify and others out there. All right, next up, Webflow released the audit panel. Well, it's actually in beta, so it's not fully formed yet, but I'm really excited about this feature. I did talk about it a few episodes ago, but basically what this does is in the beta, it's going to help you find three big things. So uh, images with missing alt tags, uh, empty links and skipped heading levels. So if you go from like an H1 to an H3, it'll let you know. Uh, this is important for people who use screen readers. And I think the audit panel is just going to get more and more powerful. I'm honestly really curious to see what all it's gonna be able to do once they actually release it. So adding this panel did mean that they shuffled some buttons around in the Webflow designer. So things like X-ray mode and guide overlays and stuff like that were in the bottom right sidebar. Those buttons did get moved into the canvas settings dropdown. So they didn't disappear, they're still there, they just got moved. All right, next up, I wanna talk about a new project that I've been working on called Hatch. So Hatch is a framework that I've been working on for the past month or so. Uh, if you missed it, I just released it about a week ago. And what Hatch is, is it's a utility framework to help speed you up inside of Webflow. It's made up of over 2,200 low-level utility classes to help you build out your layout. So there's classes for things like grid and flex and margin, padding, font sizing, uh, colors, etc. You can think of Hatch as like a starter project or a style guide on steroids. You can use it to quickly set up your project, set up your colors, your typography, and then the classes allow you to build out your layouts really, really fast. If you're interested, I did a full demo showing off how you can use Hatch to build out a landing page, and I'll link to that in the description below. But Hatch is free to clone if you're interested. A link is in the description. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you have any feedback on it, please let me know because I am going to be adding more to Hatch in the future. All right, next up, we have System Flow by Greg and Matt. So System Flow is a UI framework for Webflow and Figma. It's pretty similar to Hatch, but it is actually built out a little bit more. In addition to the utility classes, they have pre-built components and layouts. Uh, but the cool thing about System Flow is you can go from Figma 
to Webflow. So you can design your site in Figma, uh, send it off for a client approval, and then you can quickly transfer that over to Webflow using the same pre-built layouts. So if you're interested, go check out SystemFlow at systemflow.co. All right, let's talk about some made in Webflow sites. So there were a couple rebuilds that I thought were pretty cool. So Andrea actually rebuilt Pitch's old website. It is super cool. It's full of interactions and she made it clonable so you can actually go and check it out for yourself. Uh, the cool thing about this is that it was done 100% in Webflow. Uh, there's no custom code, so it's all using Webflow interactions. She said she rebuilt this site to learn herself, to help others learn, and also just show what Webflow is capable of. So if you want to go check this one out, go to pitch-rebuild.webflow.io, and I will add a link to clone it in the description as well. Another rebuild was by Ryan Morris. So Ryan rebuilt Masterclass's website. Again, he just wanted to show what's possible in Webflow. He made this one clonable as well. So if you're interested, you can go clone this one and pick it apart and figure out how he built it. But if you want to preview this one, go to Mick Class. So mcclass-test-site.webflow.io. And of course, a link to clone it will be in the description as well. All right, a really fun one that I came across was Kyle Lambert's holiday Christmas cards. So Kyle Lambert is a product designer at Webflow. He shared this site and I thought it was fantastic. Every year, him and his wife do these super fun Christmas cards. It goes all the way back to 2012. He's done an Elf version, a Wayne's World version. Christmas Vacation, uh, Bob Ross, Saved by the Bell, The Golden Girls. 2020 isn't up yet, obviously, but I'm excited to see what he does this year as well. All right, if you want to check this one out, go to lambert-christmas.webflow.io. All right, a really, really nice site that was built in Webflow is called Slight by Thomas Bosk. It is really, really well done. The design is super, super clean and the interactions really bring it to life. So Slight is a real time collaborative knowledge space for remote teams. And one thing I really like about this site is each person is represented by a color with their name and they all move around. But something that I thought was super cool is when you go down to the bottom, he added an interaction that says you and it grows when you hover over get started. I just thought that was a really clever way to tie the call to action into the overall branding of the site. And it just adds a unique element and uh, a funness to signing up. So Thomas, nice work as always. All right, next up, Chipotle actually used Webflow for one of their sites. So an agency by the name of Hunt Gather shared that they built this site for Webflow for their limited time carne asada burrito. It's really, really cool to see a big company like Chipotle embracing Webflow, embracing no code stuff like this. I'm all for it. I think it's fantastic. If you want to check this one out, go to carneasada.chipotle.com. All right, last up, let's talk about FinSuite. So first off, FinSuite redesigned their FinSuite hack site. I really love this because at first glance, it's like any normal site. But the cool thing is you can move everything around on this site. <laughs> so basically all the images, all the blocks, you can like grab and move around anywhere on the site, which is honestly really random and unnecessary, but it's very unique and very fun in my opinion. I do wish you could click on an element behind something and have it come to the top. That'd be really cool. So if you want to check out this redesign, go to finsuitehacks.com. All right, speaking of FinSuite, they just announced some crazy new stuff. Basically, the gist of it is that they are moving away from design work and then their agency is moving towards only doing uh, development stuff and interactions and stuff like that. And they also announced that they're building a full suite of uh, products called Noble. So Noble is going to be a series of basically plugins for Webflow. I'm not gonna talk about all of them because there's quite a few, but one that stuck out to me was the Noble Blocks. And this is a block for Airtable that basically makes it so you can manage your Webflow CMS inside of Airtable and you can sync them both ways. So a lot of people use Airtable as their base for their no code projects anyway. And then they use Zapier to connect Airtable to Webflow. 
uh, but this basically removes the need for Zapier and it allows you to tie Airtable to specific Webflow CMS items. So I think this is gonna be really powerful. Pretty sure it's gonna be a paid product. Uh, they haven't announced like pricing or anything, but I'm really excited to check this one out once they release it. They did do about a 50 minute long live stream showing off all their products. Uh, if you wanna check that out, I will be sure to link that in the description below. And the Noble block specifically starts about 24 minutes and 50 seconds in if you wanna jump in and learn only about that one. All right, my friends, that is all for this episode. If you come across anything cool or if you're working on something cool in the Webflow world yourself, be sure to send it my way so I can share it in a future Flamingo Show episode. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, wonderful rest of your week, and I will talk to you soon. Peace.